and welcome to another video from Win. Today we're going to go through how to find profitable trebles. Uh, basically this is a very simple method which we can use to help us find uh, three races of a day and how we bet those races to increase our chances of actually landing the treble. So first step, we need to choose only races with eight or less runners in. Secondly, we need to pick horses that are from the top three in the betting. Three, we select two horses that have a good chance of winning, of course. And four, we combine these horses into a treble. So first up then, if I pull up the Sporting Life, uh, the, the main reason I use this website is we can see from the information provided here that, uh, for example, the 310 has six runners, the 240 has 14 runners, etc. So uh, the 310 um, fits into uh, our first criteria. So if we click on this, we can sort the horses by clicking on this odds tab um, into favoritism, etc. Now, you need to focus on the top three in the betting. Now, what I've actually done is to save time is I've actually already gone through the form of the three races I'm going to go through. And I do believe uh, out of the three horse, uh, three races that I've selected, uh, the first two in the betting have, have the best chance, which clearly the market dictates. So in this example, I would pick um, on the basis of the form as well, the Sacre and Ballydaig Lady, if I've said that correctly. So we can see then that these two become our, our selections. We then move on to the next race on this card, which is the 345, because it has seven runners. And again, we sort these by their odds. And the same as the last race, the first two in the betting, I do believe, have the best chance. And in this case, it's Del Arca and Abyss du Rio. Never have been good at French. So I select these two horses. And then we need to go to the third race, which is, as we can see here at Weatherby, the 325's got six runners, so it qualifies. And again, saw the horses into uh, the odds. And like I said, I've already gone through the form here. I'm just trying to save time. Clearly, you guys need to go through the form and see what you fancy. Um, and we'll get to the bet part in a minute. But in this case, it's I Well and Vasco DC. Seems to be a lot of horses that are hard to pronounce today. So I've now got six horses over three races. So we come over here. Now I've got this open and I did have the racing post open as well. But this is just how I wanna, want to show you how we can bet these. So what I've done of the, uh, actually, I've done all of them wrong. Uh, it was Vasco de Aci, wasn't it? Um, if we get rid of that and put in Vasco de Aci. Okay. So we can see here that uh, we've now got the six horses that were selected. Now, by putting these horses into our betting slip, Paddy Power for one, uh, will accept these uh, these bets. And you can see that, like in the video I did a few weeks ago, that equals 12 doubles. Uh, and in this case, we're looking at travels and it's eight. So I'm simply gonna place 50p, which brings my stake up to four pounds. Uh, now this is because there's eight combinations. Um, your betting slip will work that out for you. But what we've got here now is we've got uh, two chances in each race, uh, meaning we've got more chance of landing the treble. And the total stake required is four pounds, which is basically eight times 50p. So we can place this bet. Let's just check that. Paddy Power, yep. And as, as you can see, your bet has been placed successfully. Um, that was the last four quid in my account, mainly because... Uh, they restrict my bets to sort of four or five pound a bet, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but that's the way it is. So you can see there, uh, we've got those six horses covered. 
and that gives us a good chance. Now I've done this on Monday night, so when you guys see this, it will uh, it will be Tuesday, and these are actually racing uh, this afternoon. Um, so it's up to you if you want to follow me in. Clearly, you need to do your own investigation and see what you you fancy yourselves. And of course, the higher the odds um, that you use. So if you fancy two ten to one shots in three races, then. Uh, your potential returns are going to be far greater than £40.63. Um, clearly, you're not going to win all the time, but it will give you a very, very good chance, or a better chance, say, uh, of, of if you were just backing one horse in each race. Uh, so I hope that all makes sense. Um, give me a shout if you've got any questions, and I will get back to you as soon as I can in the comments below. Thanks for watching. This is Eddie Lloyd for Win.